Evans or any other matter for that. Congresswoman, uh, people make all kinds of allegations. Uh, and in my business, we ask, well, who's the witness and how credible are they? Uh, and if somebody comes forward and swears under oath that I threaten them, I'll be happy to respond. All I can tell you with regard to that matter is that uh, in the room at the time were three officials appointed by President Trump and confirmed by the United States Senate, Director Ray, Assistant Attorney General Boyd, and me. Two former Republican U.S. attorneys were also in the room with us, Greg Brower, who at the time was serving as the legislative uh, liaison for the FBI, and Scott Schools. So your answer is no. The answer is no, I have not threatened Thank it. you very much. I just would like to, to close with this as my time is running out. It just seems to me that we are asking you two to violate the policies that you labor under, and we've been doing that repeatedly. We've got the 500-page IG report. You've acknowledged uh, the needs to improve areas. Last week we held a six-hour hearing. Uh, yesterday, 11 hours trying to get the FBI to violate the same policies that you are upholding today. And I think it, it's really not what this committee should be doing. I do not believe it is in uh, the best interest of this country, and certainly it does not uphold and elevate the rule of law, which is what... So Mrs. Fat-Ass Lofgren here doesn't think this is all relevant. It's okay, though, for the FBI to make threats. The head lead investigator for the FBI investigating the Trump collusion and the campaign for Hillary Clinton and all her illegality. And it is irrelevant when that lead investigator, and I'm talking about Strzok and his girlfriend, Paige, overtly, with brio and ambition, threatens to undo a constitutional election. That's okay. That isn't warranted of an investigation. Could you imagine if that lead investigator, let's say, was investigating whether or not Obama was really born in America and said, don't worry, I'm going to do everything I can to see that this man is not elected. Could you imagine what this fat broad would be saying? Or any other of these libtards, what they'd be saying if the FBI had ever come out and said, we're going to keep Obama, by the way, a known confederate to the Weather Underground Black Terrorist Group and his association with Bill Ayers, his anointer out of Chicago, and we're going to keep him from being elected. Could you imagine the hyperbole, the rhetoric of the intellectual explosion that would have gone on? at the hands of these liberal communists. This is outrageous.